Hey everybody, Steven here, and today I am looking at the Zephyr Gaming Mouse, and this is a special video for me because this is the first product for the channel where this was a Kickstarter that I funded. So with this, this is a unique mouse. I haven't seen anything like this because it actually has a built-in fan to keep your hand cool so you don't sweat a bunch. So let's go ahead and get this thing open, and then I'll talk about the specs with this also. I do like the packaging. It's, it, it is very clean looking with this. But we open it up. Everything fits just nicely inside there. Looks like we have our manual. This is just a thank you for funding the Kickstarter. Looks like we have a bunch of stickers too. Stickers, 10% off coupon. And then this is the manual right here, which we'll look at this because this is actually laid out pretty nicely. Just at that quick glance. We pull this thing out and there it is. So nice honeycomb design with it. The fan sits right underneath here. This is Omron switches. I like the thread on the cable here also. That's good fabric to it or material for it. Um, and then obviously this is going to be USB. This isn't wireless it's not bluetooth or anything like that and that is a long cable so plenty of length for anybody with this sounds good on the back of it you can see the skates so we have five right there it looks like with this and then the sensor just sits there in the middle this does have rgb lighting with it and then on the bottom here this button right here is actually what you'll push to change the fan speed I'm curious to see how this feels compared to my Logitech G703 and then my Rocket Kane 200 here. But let's talk about the product really quick with this. So um, by default, you have six DPI levels, 400, 800, 1600, which it's 1600 by default, 3200, 6400, and then 16,000. That's the max, 16,000. Um, RGB lighting effects, we have tail, neon, steady, response, streaming, wave, seven color switch, which is the wave, breathing, which is seven color switch, and then turn off. And then it tells you how to do that. Um, the driver will be automatically installed after plugging this in. I'm wondering how we actually... It gives you a way to switch the lighting within this. So I don't think this requires any software. Because I haven't really looked into that. I'm going to have to do a little bit of digging on here. Because the other thing is, is are you just stuck with those DPI levels with this? So you can't actually adjust this. Which is kind of what it's looking like. And then let's talk about the physical specs. The cable length is 1.8 meters. The weight is 68 grams for the mouse only. The sensor is a PMW3389. That's pretty standard with a lot of these that I've seen. Uh, resolution 100 to 16,000 DPI. Maximum acceleration greater than 40 grams. Maximum speed greater than 400 IPS. Switch type main. Omron mechanical rated for 50 million clicks. Polling rate is 1,000 hertz, one millisecond. Uh, this does have onboard memory, drive-free adjustable DPI settings, RGB LED, seven lighting effects, umbrella cord, soft elastic cable. So that is it right here. So I'm going to get this thing set up. I don't think it's going to be any harder than plugging this in right now. So we'll get that done. Ooh, it's making a noise. It's lighting up on me. Yeah, it's making a noise. You can hear that. I wonder if it does that every single time. You unplug it and plug it back in. If it needs to kind of... Almost like boot up. Now it stopped.
There's a fan. Okay, I think it might be part of the fan. So the lower level works. Just clicking this on. So let's talk about that really quick. You have three different settings. 30% power, which is 4,000 RPMs. 60% power, which is 7,000 RPMs. 100% power, which is 10,000 RPMs. So it seems like the first level is working for me. Oh, this is already working that way. But it seems like the next levels are not. If you can hear that. So that's the first level. Click to the next level. And it's, yeah, it seems like uh, it's not doing anything at that point. Because this one I can feel. The 4,000 RPMs I can feel. And you can actually feel it as your hand gets closer to this. But that next level sounds like it's not getting enough power. Hmm. This might be a quality control issue here. Because I doubt it's supposed to do that. And the other thing with this is, even at the lowest level, 4,000 RPMs, this is, I mean, it, it has some noise with it, right? Now your hand's going to change that as you cover it. But you're going to have noise coming out of your mouse now where you typically don't. So there's a trade-off that's going to have to happen. The scrolling wheel does feel good. But yeah, this is kind of a bummer. It seems like Yeah, just to me it sounds like it's not getting enough power. Let's try a different port here. All right, 400. Nope, doesn't matter. So, kind of seems like I have a defective product unfortunately which is a gamble that you take with these. So there's still air. What's odd is it's still spinning. So maybe I have it backwards, but maybe it's going 10,000, 7,000, 4,000, versus I thought it would go up. It'd go 4,000, 7,000, and then finish at 10. So maybe it's operating kind of backwards, but it makes a sound. So I'm gonna have to email them and see so I think what it is is that, is that it's going 10,000, 7,000, 4,000, but I, the sound is throwing me off. Because like I said, when it goes to the lower setting, it, it almost just that low hum, that low sound that it's making, um, it, it sounds like it's just almost undervolted. It's just not getting enough power. Because the harder part is if I had to sit here and play a game and listen to this the whole time, I'm not going to use it at all. That is kind of disappointing. In terms of design, I do like the honeycomb shape. I like the lighting on it. Buttons on the side here. And they feel good. Let's just leave this here for a second. DPI setting in the middle. which I usually use right around 3200, so that feels good. Peel the stickers off the skates here, but it has me curious about doing any of this because after I reach out to them, I may have to send this back. I mean, it feels good in the hands. It has a good height to it. it feels pretty comparable to the Rocket Kane 200 there and then the Logitech G703. Let's see how we change the lighting here. So in order to turn the lighting, press one and one plus three button and click the five button to customize one plus three and then press five. There it goes. That's pretty interesting.
like how you how you do that. So yeah, it feels comfortable in the hand. I mean, I can feel that it is blowing air onto my hand as well. So it feels like it would keep it cooler, dry during longer play sessions, but. There we go. See, and it kind of did it for a second, which this makes me think this is a quality control issue, not a... Because it's actually kind of working for the second setting now. The low hum is still there, but... And you go to the bottom setting and just it would be distracting to play with that but let's boot up a game really quick let's uh let's bring up doom all right let's see how this plays i'm kind of at a weird angle i can't really see anything but we'll make it work it's an odd sensation to have air blowing into your palm so, I mean, that'd be something you'd have to get used to. I wouldn't hear this if I had my headset on, so that'd be the upside. You're not going to hear any of that at all. Now, if I don't have my headset on, I'm going to have to have the volume at a decent level. Otherwise, I am going to hear this the whole time. But keep in mind, I'm pretty sure this is the highest setting. I'm half tempted to have... Well, I'm going to write them and see what they say. So, I'll do a follow-up video if I end up getting a replacement or however they do that. Kind of half tempted to have my electrical engineer client look at this and have him take it apart and maybe he can find what's going on with it. Uh, he deals in oil and gas, so it's not that he deals um, with this stuff all the time, but I think he would be able to tell. I've had him pull, like there's a fan that actually was for my son's costume one year and he actually helped me figure out what was going on with that and he fixed it for me but we'll see what the company says these are just now shipping out so I'm wondering if you even get this if you're if you're needing a replacement in a timely manner if it uh, takes a while to get anything but in terms of just general play it feels good I'm not used to playing with a lighter mouse. The ones that I use have a little bit more weight. They're usually a little over 100 grams. But I also use wireless, so um, going back to the cord. Although, I mean, the cord is super light. Um, that might be a drawback for some, is that it's not wireless. I can't even see who I'm shooting at. But yeah, that's an interesting sensation to have just air blowing into your palm as you're playing where because of that it does feel like and with these I'll do longer play sessions I'll lift up my hand and the mouse is it's not that it's like sweaty sweaty and it's like dripping sweat or anything like that but you can usually see your imprint of it where you can see that there's a little bit of moisture there um, oh come on but with this that that really wouldn't be the case so Interesting concept. I like the look of it. I like the lighting on it. Kind of bummed about the um, fan here and just that undervolting. Yeah, because that sound I couldn't. I don't think I could get past that sound. And the whole draw is the fan. So if I just played with this as a normal mouse, it's not that it doesn't feel good mouse feels good um it, but like i said the main draw here is this now in terms of what this is listed for the price is going up i got this for 80 dollars, 79 dollars. but this is about to go up because right now it's 99 dollars. and then once they actually get out of kind of this phase um it's supposed to jump up i think to 150 so you'll see this creep up to that. Uh, or maybe they end up, just because of customer feedback, staying at $100. But, I mean, they have a handful that they had sent out to people that they got to test. And you get to see, hey, this actually moves smoke around. So you get to see that the fan is actually working. But, um, 
kind of bummed about uh, it, it not working for me. Um, I, I think that was kind of the risk with these also. But I'll reach out. I'm assuming if there is an actual issue, they'll replace it. And I'll do a follow-up. But if they send me something back, they're like, yeah, no, it just makes that sound. Um, I wouldn't be very happy with this at all. <laughs> but because uh, it would just be a distraction. It's horrible. It's like a that low ringing is, is distracting. It's something that just makes me like <laughs> my skin crawl, right? If I had to listen to it long for a long time. But uh, I will put a link for this. Um, it's kind of, this is the first video. I'm hoping to do a follow-up video. I don't want to completely judge it off this small experience that I had here with this not working. Uh, that was kind of one of my expectations that, that, that there's a high chance that something may not work. Uh, with this and that's with any of these I actually just did a, a couple of the Kickstarters that hopefully I'll get the product next year and I get to do this again as it moves out of this phase I'd like to see it on Amazon that's usually where I like to see products just because it's easier for people to get and the exchange the return is just easier with that I don't know how this is gonna work with with doing this how long does it take to get back to them versus them sending it in terms of once they finally said hey this is shipped out it took a week and a half to get to me with this, it does say that they're in Hong Kong in terms of shipping this out. Uh, I don't know, maybe they have a hub here because it got here pretty quick if it was coming from Hong Kong. But uh, that's actually going to be it for this one. I'm going to do a follow-up video when I figure out some more stuff. Let me know if you guys have any other questions with this. Um, hopefully I covered at least the basics of it. Um, and general first impression in terms of feel performance, it's comparable to any of the other ones I've used. But uh, like I said, the draw was the fan. At the highest setting, it felt good. And maybe that's the thing. I'm just going to use it on the highest setting. I'm not going to mess with the other stuff. But with this, it's if you're supposed to get the 7,000 and the 4,000 RPMs and you can't actually access that without the noise, that's not going to be good in my opinion. Um, I don't think it should be make, <laughs> making that noise. Uh, I do like the RGB lighting on it as well. Um, with the honeycomb design and the ability to actually have this come through, if you are into the RGB lighting, you're gonna this is gonna be a draw because compared to my two other um, mice that I have here, they have RGB lighting, but not like this. It's just because of the honeycomb design. Like I said, it comes through a lot more, so I do like that. And then we have the honeycomb on the bottom, and especially if you like a lighter mouse and you're not looking to have a wireless mouse. So that's going to be it for this one. I will be doing a follow-up video for this. That way I get to tell everybody, hey, this was actually what was going on with it. I don't want to just put this on pause because I funded this back in, I think, September. So uh, it, it took, what, three months to get to me? So at this point, um, I'm just ready to get this portion out, then sit with it a little bit longer, see what they they tell me once uh, I hear a word because I don't know how long that's going to take either that's the other thing it may take a while if they're super slammed with everything but once I do the follow-up video I'll talk about all of that stuff if you guys have questions though on this let me know in the comment section I'll do a more formal video once I figure all this out as well and probably turn it almost into more of like a review instead of an unboxing video so that's going to be it for this one though everybody if you like the video hit the like button for me if you want to continue to follow along with all my content hit the subscribe button for me thanks so much for watching